Misfortune has a few good counters, so if you're playing versus one, take someone with good mobility like Tristana who can jump out or ult when she's casting her ultimate, Draven who can interrupt her ultimate with a single well-timed E, and Varus can stay back and poke her down from afar pretty effectively, Kaelin with her very long range advantage, Lucian with his tiny dash and extra mobility, and Vayne who can disappear from her face and chase her down when the fights are good are other viable counters too. Misfortune's passive makes her deal extra damage when targeting different enemies, essentially giving them a love tap. Her Q fires a shot versus is an enemy that bounces to the enemy right behind it. It prioritizes enemies struck by love tap and it can also crit and guaranteedly does so if it kills the first target. Her W passively grants her movement speed the longer she doesn't take damage and also increases her attack speed whenever she activates it. Her E makes it rain in a small radius slowing enemies hit by it and her ultimate is what essentially makes her a viable strong champion. It makes her channel for 3 seconds and she shoots waves that can individually critically strike. She's very much ability reliant for traits so be sure to make use of when they're on cooldown and take that chance to poke her down. Now, it will depend on what position she's playing since she can also be played with a sort of AP build as support, but most likely, you'll find her in the ADC position, in which case, she'll take heal. If you're playing ADC, then you'll take heal as well, but if you're playing supports, then consider taking ignite to burst her down quicker and end her troublesome life. As for her power spikes, if she starts with E, then you can bully her after she's used it since she'll have no way of retaliating. Her level 2 is very good because she'll have both of these abilities in level 6, 11 and 16 whenever she puts a point into her ultimate are other great power spikes too. Right now, she's going for a more lethality based build rather than critical strike one. If she does go for Yomu's and Duskblade, etc, then she'll be very squishy and have low range, meaning you can jump on her and make a magic trick. Thank you for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, she becomes vulnerable when channeling the ultimate, so stop it very quickly. Don't put yourself behind the minion line, especially if the minions are low health, and avoid trading with her for extended periods of time, but rather try to delete her quickly. Ultimately, have fun doing it.